Hello friends, welcome to the third tutorial sky replacement using Photoshop CC. I am Jinan Shekhar, founder and chief visualizer, JD Digital Gallery and Media Vision. In the first lesson, we have discussed what is Adobe Photoshop, its quick history, where to get it and how to install it, how we can make a happy birthday poster in it. In the second lesson, we learned about how we can remove unwanted elements in a photograph quickly. We have seen content aware, fill and lasso tool. Also how to correct colors and recompose and make photo more beautiful. In the third lesson, we are going to learn how to replace a plain sky with another beautiful sky. For this, we have to open a photograph and then select the sky, then open the other photo film where we have to replace the sky and then using the layer masking option the sky can be replaced. For this the tools we are going to discuss are magic wand tool, cube selection tool and the color range. Color range is a selection method. Now we are in Photoshop. From the file menu we have to select open and open the photo. For that we have to click on a photo and click open. From the layers panel, right click and select duplicate layer, click OK, the layer will be duplicated. From the tools panel, take the cube selection tool and click and drag on sky, we will get the selection. Using keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus and Ctrl minus, we can zoom in and zoom out the view. The selection now we created is not good enough to replace the sky. Some top part of the tree is not selected well. So let's try another one. The magic wand tool. These are the most commonly used tools. Let's try that. Just click on the sky and you will get selection. I am zooming in. Control and click the other parts to add to selection. We can use Alt to remove some part from selection. But this tool is also not much useful for this. This is a little bit complicated because of the slight variation in color. This is not much contrasting. The sky and tree are not much contrasting. So magic wand tool will not be able to do it precisely. To demonstrate that, I just click the cube mask button and creating a new layer with blue color. So we can see it not nice. By drag and drop the mask part to delete from the layers panel that mask can be deleted. Now this is the tricky one. Go to select and take the color range. Once click there and adjust the fuzziness that's it. I am giving 79. See now this is over selected selected to some other parts that we not need. But that's not that much an issue. We can remove that unnecessary selection easily by mark Q tool or lasso tool. Just press alt and drag. That's it. Do the same. If you didn't press alt that previous selection will be gone. Just undo that by control Z. Take the lasso tool also and just click and remove the unnecessary parts and let's try. See this is nicely selected but some parts are not fine now also. I am doing that also by lasso tool. If the photo is more contrasting to the background it will be very easy just a simple click that's it. But this one is not much, not that much contrasting. That's why I'm taking the lasso tool and doing it for some details. I'm removing the previous selection mask and adding the new one. See, now it's fine. Much better than what a magic wand tool can reach. Now we learned the color range method of selecting. Now we can replace sky. For that we have to open another photograph that has no sky. 
go to file and open I got one photograph it has nice sky click and open the photo this open in a, another tag so click and drag and again click and drag you must be using move tool for this now we got the sky photograph here but this is small we need to enlarge it for that before that we need to get that background this is in foreground so we need that go to background so just drag and drop that layer to down and by using ctrl t you will get the free transform tool and pressing shift and drag from the corners and enlarge it and press enter to apply it see how nicely we have replaced that plain sky with another one now it will be better if we adjust the hue hue and some color tone in this sky because that will match the rest of the part very nicely i'm using levels see i've added contrast by moving this we can adjust the colors i'm selecting blue and i'm adding a little bit red also that blends much better see before and after now file and take save as and give a name and take the jpg and click save press ok now we are done with that this is our youtube channel gd digital gallery please subscribe us for more tutorials please click like if you like this tutorial thanks for watching